Hey, this is a brief, quick tutorial on how to use VoiceThread in teaching. You first have to create your account so that you will have your uh, email address and your picture. It's very important to have a picture so that when anybody and uh, your students use VoiceThread, they will see the familiar face. Um, then, uh, when you are in your own account, you click on Browse, and you also, actually, when you can browse, you can find lots of uh, VoiceThread lessons on any subject, and you can add it to your VoiceThread uh, library. But for this purpose, we will see how you can use Create button. When you uh, click on Create, you have options to create, upload, upload uh, slides and I usually recommend students to create uh, either select uh, pictures that you like to use and create slides with pictures or you can use um, slideshow you can create PowerPoint presentation and then save it as JPEG and when you click on save as JPEGs all your slides will be saved separately as JPEGs and then you click upload and you will upload all the slides right away in your slideshow. And then you can create, if you want, you to each slide you can record your comments or instruction to each slide where you want students, what you want students to do with that particular slide. Um, and then uh, for each slide you can create also the title on the bottom you either create a and if you have a link to a website that you want students to explore and you want them to learn about something that you provide the link to that particular site and then click save uh, for this slide for example I use a video file from my computer and that's uh, when you click uh, if you that's what I use this button uh, upload button. So when you click on this slide, you will see that if I go, I just gave the name to this slide, uh, Creative Learning uh, Lessons, and here there is no, there is nothing. So it means that uh, this is just a slide with a video. And this slide I have, uh, let's see, I have a link uh, to the website where there was information about the difference uh, between cooperative learning and collaborative learning. So that's easy. And then you click, you then um, click on this button, Publishing Options, and you choose these options. Allow anyone to view, allow anyone to comment, just check them with green check. Uh, moderate comments. At this point, I don't want to com com moderate comments, but with your little kids, you can moderate comments and see if everything is good, And or you ask students to work on the comments, and they can go and record uh, back. And show browse uh, on browse page. So then click Save, and your slideshow slay, uh, sh saved. And then you go back to your my voice uh, and I have so I created a, quite a few so I go to back to our uh, slideshow here you go and that's where um, you can go back to the first slide and here you will ask students to click on comment and explain to students that they can uh, either uh, call to record their response or they can video, use their video to record or they can just record their voice or they can type. But I would really like students to use video camera or, or audio camera to really practice their not only writing skills but also speaking and listening so it would be great uh, maybe do both ask them to write their comment and then also to um, 
record their voice. That's how you use VoiceThread, and it's easy. It's really wonderful for many, many, many ways, and especially to voice your opinion. Thank you.